Republicans are still saying they won't even vote on a Supreme Court nominee put forth by President Obama, but Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican who had been a presidential candidate and sits on the Judiciary Committee, now says this is unprecedented and it could come back to haunt the GOP. And if Ted Cruz or Donald Trump get to be president, they've all asked us not to confirm or take up a selection by President uh, Obama. So if a vacancy occurs in their last year, of their first term, guess what? You will use their words against them. We're setting a precedent here today, Republicans are, that in the last year, at least of a lame duck eight-year term, I would say it's going to be a four-year term, that you're not going to fill a vacancy of the Supreme Court based on what we're doing here today. That's going to be the new rule. Now, look, if this was a Democrat sitting on the Judiciary Committee, this wouldn't be news. This would be the same sort of thing that we've been hearing for weeks ever since the passing of Antonin Scalia. But this is Lindsey Graham. This is a, a fairly prominent Republican sitting on the Judiciary Committee saying this is unprecedented and flying in the face of all the talking points that, Richard, I'm sure you're going to bring up right now. Right. So we know that this was not the first time that uh, the, the body has, uh, Senate has leadership, actually, of an opposing party opposing to that of the president has asked that in their last term they not elect they not uh, have a uh, or appoint a uh, Supreme Court justice so it's not unusual that the Republicans are asking that what is unusual here is that they won't even consider a, a, the nominee so the request to not nominate somebody is not unusual but the but not moving on that is unusual we're sitting in March it's not March 20th yet so there's still more than 10 months until the inauguration of the next president which is January 20th 2017 Obama's still president Scott he has I mean he should be entitled to appoint somebody or at least have that appointment considered correct yeah I mean he should and uh, on the other hand, this is a critical appointment, and everybody knows it. You've got a 4-4 situation. The next, whoever this is going to mm -hmm. be is critical to many policies and views across, across the... What I don't understand, though, is I, don't, I think they're being very stupid about it. Uh, frankly, look at all the number of uh, so, uh, justices who have been nominated and took months and months and months before they could actually be approved, and even some of them never got approved. And there's still some that I are mean, sitting in the stable right now that are waiting for Senate to, well, to even consider so, them. Right, other, so yeah, why be, why be stupid and yeah. say, I'm taking the basketball home and I'm not going to let you... I mean, yeah. you can accept, and, and if Obama's smart, he'd pick a person who has some Republican connections right. and then make them look embarrassed. I think it's just dumb because I think no matter how you do it, you, they're off on August and July. they got plenty of time to talk about this. I don't understand yeah. the reasoning. And it, the other thing is you could, the, they, the judiciary could accept an appointment uh, and vote it down. The Senate, the Republicans sure. control it, the Senate. They can vote anybody down that they don't want to, uh, to have approved. That's, has, that's historically has happened uh, before. Matter of fact, the longest vacancy well, uh, of the Supreme Court has been 27 months because that kept happening. There is one big problem with the assessment that each of you have made. And the big problem is you're being reasoned, <laughs> reasonable, measured, and responsible. And don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following because, Lindsey Graham, please. Because right now we're dealing with an in empowered Republican base that only cares about red meat for the base. And Senator uh, Lindsey Graham is right. You think the Democrats are going to forget this? Or do you think they're going to say, pay back, we're going to wait until you have your Republican president, and they're going to be, you know, a lame duck status, pay back. I couldn't agree more with what you say, county exec. It's simply smart. Okay, listen, guys, we're not approving whoever Obama puts up. The public doesn't have to know that. We'll play the games, we'll right. listen, we'll hold the hearings, yep. and we'll vote them down. I don't care who he puts up. What, what's wrong with that? Do they, do they get, it's do it's Republicans... It's right, actually. Right, they do that. Right. They Republicans do back down and say, okay, we'll hold hearings at this point. Does that hurt them significantly in the view, in the eyes of their base? Are you kidding me? Have you seen the level of approval for Congress? Like this is one of the people are <laughs> pissed off. I mean, approval I think is like thirteen percent. All right. Okay. So people are pissed off, and that's that's why they're coming out for people like Trump because do, they're but mad. But do they lose more face coming. having having drawn this line in the sand if they back away and say, okay, you know what, we'll hold hearings. We're going to reject anybody on spec, but we'll hold the hearings I, at least. I don't think. Do they you, lose? More I don't think you get any lower than thirteen. I don't think so. No. Well, yeah. actually, you could you could get thirteen lower than thirteen. Yeah. Well, so right, there is some I, room. I think, I don't think you can go any lower than that. I think they've hit rock bottom. So you know, no, I, I think it would be fine if they hold the hearings and reject the nominees. It, you know, 
They look the longest confirmation I think was uh, 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 Judge uh, Thomas. I think it took about two months, a little yeah. over two months, maybe yeah. three months. So once you hold a hearing for one, reject the other one, hold another three more hearings, you're pretty much done. Hold two hearings. You know, right. you're done. And then you're August, and no one's there anyway. Right. So, so that's it. Scott, I've always, I've always thought that the Supreme Court was sort of one of those big, quieter issues in any presidential election. The balance of the court, especially when you're looking at a five-four court, and you've got somebody like Ruth Ginsburg, and and she's probably, you know, if there's a Democrat who's elected, she's probably going to go in the next term. This puts a face on that issue, the 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 opening on the court. We know that Republicans are playing to their base. Doesn't this help Democrats playing to their base also because it, it does personify the issue? Yeah, I think it does because they know that Roberts swings all sorts of ways, the Chief Justice, okay, even though everybody thought he was a great <laughs> judicially conservative. Judicially, Dominic. Obamacare. Obamacare yeah, yeah, yeah. is one. Yeah, <laughs> judicially is what I remember. So Roberts is, and so, and Kennedy becomes the key, of course, yeah. and Kennedy's yeah. rulings on many cases have gone one way or the other, and there are big policy issues from abortion to the issue of uh, voting rights to uh, the, also for, uh, affirmative action. Mm -hmm. There are I mean, the whole list of things, mm -hmm. and people are paying attention to these issues more so than before. So the next, that that, that ninth judge, mm -hmm. and perhaps then the judge, is cr it's critical. So yeah, let me no, ask that, that's absolutely true. Let me, let me flip the question then. Shouldn't Democrats, Dominic, be thankful that the, the Republicans are taking this position? They now have this weapon that they can use. They have this argument that they can keep going back to where instead of it just being a sort of theoretical thing, here it is. And you don't think Hillary Clinton is not thankful? She is. There, there's a time and a place to bring this up. There's a time and a place to energize the base. It's not right now. You wait till the fall election and then you do a commercial pointing to the shenanigans of, uh, of national Republicans, Senate Republicans. And uh, this, this plays right up there with Trump's Obama is not a uh, U.S. citizen. It plays, it plays right into that narrative. So Hillary Clinton will be quite helpful. I mean, quite thankful. Quickly. Yeah. And, and it's stupid. I mean, again, because they're going to argue you're, you're not abiding by the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Abide by the Constitution and then don't take action. But right. just do the right thing. All right, we'll shift gears after a quick break. A strike is looming for New Jersey Transit that would make Monday morning's commute a nightmare for more than 100,000 commuters. But is there a way to make sure that nothing like that happens or happens again? We've got an idea. Stay with us.